So I'm going to start with something that I'm watching with my husband, Eric, and John, who comes over on Sundays. Not me. Yes, well, that is our regular routine that John comes over and we watch stuff on Sunday nights. So we're watching on Apple TV Plus Constellation, which, yeah, it's a cool sci-fi show. Did Eric suggest it? Do you remember, John? Yes. uh, He had heard some of the, you know, promotional things a month or two ago. So before it had come out and we were like, yeah, that sounds, oh, it's not out yet. Okay. so Got it. Because I do hate it when Eric is like, let's watch this. And I'm like, ooh. I already watched it. Sorry, honey. <laughs> you are late to the party. <laughs> yeah. But he often will be like trying to suggest stuff. And I love it when it's like, oh, yeah, great. Let's all watch that together. I mean, obviously, there's things that we do on purpose and don't start. Like, you know, if it's like an HBO show, we're like, no, 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 that's a watch together show. I'm not going to. Mm. I'm not going to watch that. Do we believe you? No, I would never. Why don't you I... talk about the show? Okay. Wow. All right. Jeez. Okay. So Constellation. On Apple TV Plus, it's a sci-fi show starring Naomi Rapace, who most people, oh. yeah, most mm-hmm. people know her as. This is actually how Eric pitched the show to me. He's like, "It's that lady from Dragon Tattoo." I'm like, "Oh, okay." I don't know if he said lady. He might have. Uh, yeah. Although most importantly, from the original Swedish version. Correct. Correct. And also, people know her from Prometheus, which was yes. was that an alien? Oh, it was like a a sci-fi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the Alien universe, it's prequel, right? Correct. Okay, just checking. You got there. I know. It was a little jumbly. I mean, I thought I did it right, and then I was like, I second-guessed myself. I'm like, I have to say it again. Okay. And that's one of those movies I have appreciated in a rewatch. It's worth it. I've done multiple. I haven't done it in a couple years, but it's definitely worth it. I mean, especially in the end, we're like, that's how we became humans on this planet. I don't want to say... The Prometheus was not the what I realized. It was the one after that when I realized that all alien movies were the same. What we do you mean went the same? somewhere. Oh. We didn't think there would be a problem. And then there were aliens. And then they murdered almost all of us. It's exactly the same every single time. Well, that is kind of what they do, yeah. I mean, most of these uh, science fiction movies can't license other science fiction stories and movies within their own universe. So they don't know, John. It's the first time it's ever happened in that universe. <laughs> All right. So it's like it, a Boy Scout. You know, it's like leave no trace. If you do, super fucked. Yeah. Well, in so, the alien universe, those aliens are coming after you. The, the, it's like really I said, bad. I'm not surviving a zombie, you know, apocalypse, an alien invasion. I'm not built for it. You and Sigourney could do it. All right, but oh. that's not. That's not this. Talking. Okay. Yes. Oh, but okay. I think what is making me think of Prometheus so much is she's an astronaut in that one as well, or like a space traveler or whatever. Oh, mm. are you going to say she's not no, an astronaut? She is. Though remember, this is here. You know, this is one part of perhaps the first and second episodes that's similar Mm. i see what you're saying so yes in constellation naomi is playing an astronaut she goes up to space there's some stuff that goes wrong in the international space station what basically she ends up there alone and there's like some (gasps) catastrophic stuff to me that is very prometheus like Uh, her around the ship all by herself yes that slight portion of this entire series is similar but in the movie Prometheus, that was only a slight portion of the movie. It goes real clockwise. You're in the totally end. right. Clockwise. Okay. Catherine, I love that. You what? are reductive. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Well, all right. Let's get back to this show. All right. But, so, but isn't this not all the way out yet? Aren't there still more episodes yes, of this? It, so it could potentially turn a corner somewhere. She could go back to science. space and be alone again and have to escape again. Yeah. That seems unlikely. I mean, John has a point that the Prometheus parallel is more like the beginning of it. It's not just an ongoing she's in space the whole time. I wonder what she thought when she read that script. She's like, this seems familiar. Well, the pilot must have, because that was the first episode, and that's where she was in space. Wait a minute, Catherine. Should I remind you of one of your favorite quotes? Uh Uh-oh, what? There are a lot of shows about doctors. That's true. I mean, listen, yeah. She probably was like, hey, I know how to do this, and it's a paycheck. Apparently, there are a lot of shows about space escapes. Yeah. Well, Mm. this is another one with her doing a space escape. Okay. So, it's her. She's the main character that we're following. What? (laughs) Just the... I was like, she was in a space jam. (laughs) And then I thought of what a horrible movie that was. And I'm like, oh (laughs) my God. Okay, wait, we've really got to stay on track. Okay. Yeah, space jam, I don't think is in the same. I don't think there's a Prometheus parallel there. But I bet if we went back and looked, there might be. There might be. We could figure it out. Yes. Okay, so in this one, 
She comes back down to earth. What, John? I don't remember at all either of the ones, but isn't it that somebody like gets stuck? A live, real person gets stuck in the animated world. Of Space so, Jam, yes. So She's, then it's kind of like they're like alone and have to escape. It's a Space you Jam. Guys, <laughs> everything is connected. Prometheus, yeah. Space Jam, it's definitely Constellation. Not, it's definitely not like a bunch of live action and animated characters hanging out and jamming down and doing stuff. No, it's a Space Jam. You're in a Space it's Jam. It's a problem in space. Oh, jam as in a problem, not as in jamming music. Yes. Like a jam session. Wow. That's I mean, what I- or a jam sandwich instead of jelly. And wasn't it Michael Jordan? <laughs> I think so. Maybe. Oh my God. Okay, wait. okay, look. We've got to, We've got to talk to... about Constellation. Right. We're connecting all these dots. We've already covered it. These dots <laughs> like are the right. galaxy. <laughs> like a We're connecting up. Like the constellation, all the stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow, we're doing a great job. Okay, so the main thing is she comes back to Earth and things are a little bit wonky. She's not sure at first what's going on. And we know as an audience, as the episodes progress, and as Ed has pointed out, it's Apple TV Plus, so not all of them are currently available, but we're doing a slow roll. So I think we've got three, maybe four at this point. Great. Totally enjoying it. It is weird, though, because you're not sure what's happening. We know more than her character knows, for Mm. sure. Because we know that they did some experiment up in space and they might have kind of messed up her knowing what version of the world she's in. Does that sound Um, right, John? That's true, except Uh, I mean, isn't it possible it exists for some other characters? and uh, Oh, for sure. It's a parallel universe? Mm, We don't know yet. We don't know. That has not been totally revealed. Well, but my only point was it might not be specifically just this recent experiment. Yes. I think this recent experiment was prompted by this happening before to other people is what you're kind of getting at, right? This is all supposition, but yes. This is all supposition. Okay. So I think the most important thing to mention is that John is alluding to this character that definitely has had some kind of weird parallel universe thing happen to him. And he's... We think. We think. Again, supposition. So he is the one that's spearheading this experiment to try and figure something out, which may be also causing things. We're not sure. That character is played by Jonathan Banks who is from Better Call Saul slash Breaking Bad. Very recognizable, older guy, bald. Mm -hmm. I do need to say that John and I are in the middle of watching Better Call Saul. We're past the middle. We're way past the middle. Well, we are technically past the middle, but it does feel like on a timeline, we should have finished by now. Well, we're possibly only three years behind. That's a little bit far behind. So we definitely have all of season six, but the important thing is that Jonathan Banks plays Mike in these two shows, in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, and he is equally grouchy in this Constellation show. Did you not think that he was a similar... He's very smart and capable like he is in those other shows, but like still grouchy like those other shows? I would say in those other shows, this is all very important, by the way, uh, he's, you know... I would put him at 60% grouchy, oh, okay. and I think we might be at 80% in oh. Constellation. I mean, this is, I mean, I it's possible. Wow. I but, thought you were going to go the like, opposite direction and say he was not as grouchy, which I was very shocked. More, go ahead, Ed. More grouchy, but less violent than those other shows. He's usually like, the steam gets let off. That's Don't speak saying. too soon. Oh, no. Yeah, we're not sure what's going to happen. At this point, he's not killing anybody. Not on purpose. What? Catherine, spoiler alert. <laughs> Okay, so what I want to say about Constellation is it's very intriguing. It looks amazing. Mm. Naomi Rapace is very good. The actor who's playing her husband and the young actress who's playing her daughter, incredible. That part of the storyline is very interesting. Who is the teenage daughter my favorite? Not quite a teenager. I'd say she's maybe like 11. I think, didn't they talk about, because at one point we hear she was only supposed to be in space for a year. I think she was only in space for eight to nine months. 
I think they said the daughter was a nine to ten, which oh, is an important. Okay. Uh, what was the thing? It was like an important transitional time. A liminal time. Oh, it was very liminal. Yeah, and then somebody was like, "What's liminal? An in between stage or whatever?" Well, yeah, she knew what liminal meant, but in this context, way too cerebral. Calm down. Yeah, <laughs> eight to nine is a complete cush age. You haven't hit hormones yet. Everything needs to slow your roll. It's nine to ten. She's liminal. I don't know what you mean. No, I, I I have never heard that. <laughs> and now I'm going to look at our nieces around that age and we are, are you a liminal time right now? Are you in your liminal period? Are you liminal? <laughs> Don't I mean, liminal me. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I'm in my liminal period. I think, you know, possibly, you know, any stage of a child, nine months is all, every nine months is liminal. Being Someone look up what this child. word means right now. No, there was that great TV series in the, the 90s, The Liminal Years. The Liminal Years. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what show you're referring to. I wonder. Wait, I'm like, oh, are you going to look up liminal? I don't even know how to spell it. And this is like, it's so rare for me. I'm like, I literally don't even know what this is. Okay, well, while you're doing that. Hold on, hold I'm, on. Okay. I was just going to wrap up Constellation. Liminal. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, you guys. What does it say? First of all, it starts with a very teen-looking photo of a girl staring off into a forest. So <laughs> already it's very emo. Liminal is from the Latin word liminal, which means threshold. A liminal space is the time between what was and next. It is a place of transition and a time of waiting, of not knowing of the future. Childhood. I cannot. Like I said. As much as I love writers and a thesaurus, calm down, people. That was the reaction you're supposed to have, and that's what they were evoking and did in the show. So. Yeah. In the Perfect. in the moment, her reaction was very much like, Are you kidding me? Why Perfect. are you saying that? How? Okay, then I like that. I mean, it did suck because she was gone for almost a year and her daughter kind of was not doing super great. And then potentially she comes back to a universe in which she's a different person. So things are a little wonky. Oh my God, something liminal really did happen. Oh my God. M okay. So liminal. Okay, yeah, so anyway, she, she was on the liminal mission. I don't know why no one caught on that she there was, was something on the happening yeah. in between stages up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so Constellation, if you can get past the use of liminal, it's totally worth watching. <laughs> I don't know if I can. It's only one scene, and they say it one time. Right I'm out. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I'll tell you where it is and you could just skip it. Perfect. Okay, so that is on Apple TV Plus, really good, and currently being released, dropped, whatever you call it. I don't know. What is it called? Dropped, right?